What's going on guys? I just want to show you the breakdown of a Sebenza pivot system. And if you're wondering more about the knife or if you don't know, I have a review on this. I'll post it up or post it up soon. So anyways, let's get into it. They give you this little Allen key. It's nothing special. You can find it at Lowe's if you lost it or whatever. Lowe's hardware. So I start with the blade first. And I haven't taken this apart in a long, well, probably three or four months. So I pop that out. That's just a little, I guess it's called a Chicago style screw. Open it up and ease this blade out. I don't know what's going on. So anyways, here's what it looks like, and there's the washers, let me get my towel, just touch that these parts on, so you have the washer, bronze phosphorus washer, there's the washer on the other side, and the pivot bushing. I don't know if you can see that. So this is the spacer and you can see it's spaced perfect for the washers to sit on either side. And this way when you actually when you, when you clamp the screws down for the pivot, that spacer takes all the pressure and just allows the perfect amount of pressure so your blade still swings freely in there and has no play because it's just fit so tight but also that screw will crank down all the way and it'll butt up against this the spacer pinching it like say my fingers are the slabs of the titanium pinching it like that and it makes a little sandwich out of the washer blade and the washer well, this spacer keeps it apart and it is just the exact perfect thickness down to the hundred thousandths of an inch. And that's what makes the Sebenza so special. And this is uh, what the Umnum's on is missing in my opinion. I'm still going to get one to check it out, the Umnum's on. But a lot of people are a little upset that Chris Reeves is kind of famous for this uh, pivot system here. I mean they're the only ones that I know of that do it on a production folder. Well, I think, actually I might have to take that back. I think there are some Microtechs that actually use that system. Although I'm not sure, don't quote me. But I'm sure someone can leave a comment if you know that there is or there is not. So what I'm doing is just cleaning it, and you see how fast it took me to break it down. At this point, I don't take down the whole knife. This is all I'm worried about, is the pivot area and this lock bar. I leave my handle together just like this. I guess if I was really going to break it down and clean out everything. You, you can take these other two screws out and that's not a problem at all. But I find that there's no difference. If I take down the whole knife to every single part is completely stripped or if I just do this. So this is how I do the upkeep and I still don't do this maybe once every three months and it's more for fun than really needing it. So this is the Chris Reeves uh, fluorinated grease. And I just put a little, it's kind of hard to keep this in frame and still do it. So then I put the pivot back in here well, with a little bushing. And Put that back in there. 
the washer and another big washer and um, you might want to just take note of what side of the washer you had in there to start with because you don't want to start the break-in process all over again so <clears throat> I know the shiny side that's been buffed and wore down always goes on the blade and the kind of crappy part stays on the scales stays in the handle side because if you ever watch when most knives are opening the washer stays still it doesn't move so that means the blade actually when the washer doesn't move uh, rubs up against the blade like that so that's it pretty much now take this and remember I've loosened up this screw just the tiny bit I'll slide it back in there and everything fits perfectly I'll just keep an eye for your hole what I'm doing is I'm pushing this lock bar down too if you can see that so I can slide this in here once I have everything lined up perfect the screw goes back in here and once it lines up perfect you can see it's in there and here's a funny thing too about Sabenzas there's no wiggle there's not even a screw in there and there's no blade play at all it's bizarre that's how good the fit is and of course you need this top screw but the fit is actually so good that the uh, there's no blade play without it so I'll take this retighten this and that's it <coughs> Take the blade off. And you can see the bar is back exactly how it was. It's just like butter again. The blade is dead centered. And everything's back up and clean. And that's what makes a Sabenza a Sabenza. And that's what sets it apart from any other knife on the market that I know of and just the fit <clears throat> that you can do that and clean your knife and I was even slowing it down if you're on your table at your house and you could probably do that in under three minutes I mean it, it is literally one screw so anyways I hope uh, some of you guys will find that useful and Hopefully some of you guys will run out and need us a benzo now and see what the sickness is all about. We'll catch you later.